Hi, welcome back. Today we are going to compose fractions. And this grumpy kitty is going to help us. Oh goody, can't wait. We can represent fractions using area models, sets, and number lines. All of these models show the fraction, 3 fourths. How do you know? The numerator represents three parts shaded, and the denominator represents the four total equal parts. When we compose fractions, we put them together. When we decompose fractions, we take them apart. In this video, we will be looking at specific types of fractions called unit fractions. The numerator in a unit fraction is always 1. And the denominator is the total number of equal parts. In this model, the shaded piece is one unit fraction. Let's get started. Five sisters are baking. They each used one sixth cup flour. What is the total fraction of flour the sisters used? Let's draw a model to help us. We have a rectangle divided into sixths. There are five sisters and they each used one sixth cup, so five parts out of six are shaded. To solve, We'll add together the parts 1 sixth plus 1 sixth plus 1 sixth plus 1 sixth plus 1 sixth equals 5 sixths. They used 5 sixths cup of flour. Which fraction model represents the sum of the unit fractions below? Let's look at the first one. These pieces are each 1 fourth, so the sum would be 1 fourth plus 1 fourth. This model is made up of eighths. It can't be that one. Great observation. And this one only has one piece shaded, which is one-third. It can't be that one either. I found the correct match. This one has three pieces shaded, and each piece is one-fourth, just like the sum. Grumpy Kitty, you are really good at composing fractions. I bet you had fun too. Only a little. But don't tell anyone. 